My name is Michelle Dietrich and I'm a makeup artist. I've done makeup on a lot of celebrities. Pam Anderson, Kanye West, Benny Kravitz, Cynthia Nixon. There's a big misconception that I could never do that look on the runway and you absolutely can't. Everybody can and you'll play to your best attributes and I can show you how to do that. We just finished a perfect classic wedding look that is great for photos. So now we're going to actually turn it into a celebrity Taylor Swift, <laughs> Taylor Swift red carpet ready look, which also means she's photographed all the time, etc. But we're going to change a few elements of the wedding look to turn it into her look. So she's known for her cat eyes, that well-defined lip, that fresh, young, pretty, but super polished, multi-millionaire, <laughs> superstar look. So for the Taylor Swift look, we're going to define her lips first, which is what I'm gonna show you right now. She just wiped off her wedding photo lip, which was glossy. Now we're going to give her a lip stain with a liner and a little bit of uh, a finish lipstick just for moisture's sake, so it doesn't look dry, because stains can look dry, but they, they stay on amazingly. So I'm gonna go around her lip line first with a little bit of concealer. Um, a cream stick concealer is great to carry with you for touch-ups. You know, we used a creamy concealer earlier. It's kind of whatever you have is okay, but a concealer nonetheless. So just to avoid any redness, I'm applying it again with the concealer brush, but we just want to make sure that we get that really defined, specific Taylor Swift look. I'm going to start with a stain. Um, it just kind of looks like a marker, but it colors your lips, gives you that pretty, like if you just ate a popsicle in summer kind of look, and it will stay on for so long. It's awesome. I'm sticking within a few shades of her lip. Start in the center of her of your lip and work your way out. Once again, we're gonna keep it modern. I like to start like with a little bit of a bow. I think we've all seen Taylor Swift's very well-defined top bow lip. Pretty lips. So go ahead and take it over the whole entire lip, even down to the lip line. And so when you get there, pay a little bit more attention because it's a stain. So here we have just the stain alone, which is really pretty, but in order to give it a really, really defined red carpet ready finish, we are gonna go in with a lip liner in a similar tone. So I'm going to use a lip pencil to further define her lips in order to give that red carpet ready polish. So it's, a, it's kind of a pinky red, the lip stain color, but it's gonna give more definition. So start in the middle of the lip, and with the darker colors, if you saw the previous tutorial about the wedding makeup photos, I said you can overdraw the bottom of the lip if you want a little bit of a pout, but that's with a neutral colored lip liner. If you're using a a more distinct color, you want to just stick to your lip shape and be really nice and fine about it. So I like to do the middle and then kind of turn the pencil on its side and then turn the pencil on its other side. That will help with feathering. Okay, so that's just the bottom. And we're going to just fill in the outer two thirds. So leave the center just stained. And then we'll go on the front. And at the end of the look, we'll take a little tiny bit of powder, translucent again, the same one that we mattified her face with before, around the edge to really make sure it's like super clean. Now I'm going to add for a little blendability as well as moisture, a similar tone again of lipstick, but the reason why is you're going to get very long wear, you're going to get a very 
defined lip, but also we want to keep it looking fresh and youthful. So I'm just going to take the lip brush again, start in the center, take it all the way to the edge. Because now that we have the stain and the lip liner on, you can take the color all the way. And now I'm going to use, just to set the lip, the translucent powder. And not only is it going to mattify the lip, but it's also going to hold it in place. Because what we're really going for here with this red carpet Taylor Swift lip is you don't have to have your makeup artist running after you, retouching you all the time. Okay, so start on the outside of the lip, just translucent powder and a fairly flat brush. It could even be flatter than this one. And you don't want to get too much translucent powder. And then, and this is really going to give you the stay, gently, very gently, just pat it on top the whole lip. And if you do one side, then switch sides for the second side of the lip. So if you do one side after, you need to switch to the other side because it will have a little bit of lipstick on it. That's it. And it will stay on like all night long. So that's the lips part of the Taylor Swift look. It's moisturizing, long wearing, but really well defined and uh, that pretty bow. And it will stay on all night for the red carpet.